Halloween, my favorite holiday, just a couple of weeks away. In honor of that holiday, I came up with this simple program as we explore some new scratch concepts. Hey, scratchers! Hope you're all doing well, and a happy Halloween to all of you. In honor of this great American tradition, why not create a little program? And in this program, we're going to explore the concept of buttons, broadcasting, which is how one script in Scratch communicates with another. So before we begin programming, I've included on the description of this video the sprite that we're going to be using. I've already created it. So you need to download the sprite and in the video we're going to talk about how to upload it. So just download it onto your computer and know where it's located. So here is a Halloween program that we're going to create. Isn't that a spooky background? We have five buttons on the side. Mad, confused, happy, sad, and surprised. When I click on one button, the jack o lantern with that face will appear for five seconds. All right, let's create it. Click create to start a new project. First thing we're going to do is name it. I'm going to call mine Jack hyphen O hyphen lantern. So our project needs six sprites, the Jack Lantern sprite and the five buttons. It does not need the cat, so I'm going to delete it. Right click, delete. There are four ways to get a sprite. From the library, we could draw one, import from a file, or take a picture. We're going to import from a file. Click the folder icon, navigate to your sprite. It will have a sprite extension on it and hit open. All right, so we have our jack-o'-lantern sprite and it has five costumes. Each costume is a different expression and it's named to reflect the expression that's on it. Now we need to create our button sprites. So new sprite second over is a paintbrush. I'm going to click the paintbrush. First thing I'm going to do is get my rectangle tool. I'm going to get it outlined. I want to outline it in black and I'm going to try to draw a rectangle about center. I'm going to fill it with a color. I'm going to fill it with, let's say, I'm going to go with uh, blue, any color. And I'm going to use my fill tool. And there's my button. Now I need five of these buttons. All right, so I'm going to drag it over here. And now I want to duplicate it. So we're going to use what I call the duplicator, the stamper up top here. We click the duplicator. Go to the button, click, and drag. Place it where you want it to go. Okay. Then I'm going to use my duplicator, and I'm going to do that three more times. So we need five blank buttons all together. So pause, create your buttons. If you need to review how to do it, do that. I'll be here waiting when you get back. We now have our five blank buttons and our jack-o'-lantern sprite. We need to name and label the five buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on costumes. I click on my text tool, click in my button and type happy. Now when I click away, you'll notice the handles. Those handles will allow me to resize and position the word. Now if I make a mistake and click away, I have no way of adjusting that. It's done. But it's not a problem. We're just simply going to undo and try again. Happy. H-A-P-P-Y. I'm going to click away and place it in the center somewhat. 
click away and we can see it labeled now we have to name it to name it I'm going to just click on this little blue circle information icon and name it happy close the icon and now I have my happy button named and labeled we now need to do the same thing for mad sad confused and surprised okay so now you're going to pause the video once again and name and label the rest of your buttons. If you're not sure how to do it, rewind and replay. When you're ready to move on, I'll be ready too. Buttons broadcast events. So when a button is pressed, something's going to happen. And in order for that to happen, we need to use a broadcast command. The broadcast command allows one script to talk to another. So in our program, it's going to allow the button sprites to communicate with the jack-o'-lantern sprite. So I'm going to click on my happy button. So I know I'm working with the right one. And I know it's the right one because there's a blue border around it. I'm going to go to make sure I'm in scripts and I'm going to go to my events. Now second from the bottom, we're going to broadcast the message. And the message we're going to broadcast is a new message and it's going to be happy. The happy button is going to broadcast a happy message. Now when do we want this to happen? Well, we have to put a hat on it. We want it to happen when this sprite is clicked. And I'm going to click on mad. And again, when mad is clicked, what do we want it to do? We want it to broadcast. Not happy, a new message. We want it to broadcast mad. And the same thing has to be done with sad, confused, and surprised. Time to pause the video. Do it three more times. We've been through it before. I'll be here waiting when you're done. Now that we have five active buttons, each when clicked will broadcast a message. Something needs to receive that message. And that of course is our jack-o'-lantern. So we click on the jack-o'-lantern so we know we're working on them. Now the buttons broadcast a message. In order for the jack-o'-lantern to respond, it needs to receive that message. So we're going to get when I receive a hat. Now what we want to happen is the jack-o'-lantern to show itself in the appropriate costume for five seconds and disappear. So the first thing we're going to do is get on the appropriate costume and we get that from looks. And we're going to switch to costume confused. And then we're going to show and wait for five seconds so we go to control not one second but five seconds and then we're going to go to looks we're going to hide now we're going to use our duplicator to duplicate this whole script so i click so now i already have confused so now let's do happy i'm going to do that three more times all right, guys, you're doing great. Pause the video. I have an image of what your jack-o'-lantern's final script should look like. Get it done, take your time, do it right, and click play when you're ready. So the last thing we need to do now is select our stage, our backdrop. So I click on stage. I'm gonna to go to backdrop. I'm gonna pick from the library. I'm gonna to go to outdoors. The one I like is woods. And then put the pumpkin where I want it to be. Run the program. Happy. Mad. Sad. All right, our program works. 
Congratulations on your first Halloween-themed program. Now, go out there and trick-or-treat, have a great time, and don't eat too much candy. Be safe, and we'll see you next time.